from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back. The time now is 623. Warmer weather is a time for the lake, campfires, fireworks, bonfires, cookouts, and fire pits. With all these fun activities, there is always the possibility of an unwelcomed accident. We're talking, of course, about burns. And here to keep you safe is Baptist Health, Dr. Devin Ballard with Sherwood Family Medical Clinic. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, it is that time where we want to get outside, but it can be dangerous, and there can be uh, things that can hurt us, fire being one of those. Correct. So there's different kind of burns you can get. Uh, uh, some people think about the sunburn from the sun or the fire or the, the grease from the, you know, cooking eggs outside. Uh, so there's uh, the ones we worry about are there's first degree, second degree, third degree that everybody's kind of heard about. Uh, and, the, and there's different layers of the skin. If you actually look at the layers of skin, there's the uh, epidermis and underneath that's the dermis and then underneath that's where your muscle and bones and all that kind of stuff are. So as we go over the types of burns, I mean, we've all heard of them, but do we really know? So give us an idea of first degree burn. What, what can you expect with that? Just a little redness of the skin. Okay. Uh, no swelling, uh, probably a little pain and uncomfortableness. Uh, the second degree burn is where you would see a more swelling redness and blistering okay. uh, uh, and then a third degree burn is literally uh, think about when you burn the chicken on the grill it's literally a char or a blackness or a whiteness which uh, goes all the way through to the bone and muscle area uh, that's the most severe type. Obviously, you would know then that's uh, serious enough to go see a doctor, but is there another time when it's serious, maybe a first or second degree burn that you do still need to see a doctor, or can yeah. we treat this at home? First degree burns, you treat at home real easily. Just put, you know, like if you if you burn yourself immediately, you put cold water on it, let okay. it soak if you want to. You don't want to put a pressure water on it, you don't want to, because uh, that can injure the skin more, uh, but that will get better on its own. You can put a little antibiotic ointment on it just to soothe and ease it up. A second degree burn, you would do the same thing, but with the blistering, a lot of people want to pop the blisters. Mm. So you got to think about your skin as a barrier against infection. Okay. So don't break the barrier. And so it let the, you could cover it, uh, you could put antibiotic ointment. We would prescribe sylvanine cream, mm -hmm. which is a, a white ointment you would put on it, but you don't want to pop the blisters. It'll naturally, it'll, it'll fill up and then it'll go back down and let it heal naturally and don't introduce uh, a, an area or conduit for bacteria to get under and cause infection. And keep it covered. That's a, a lot of, we've the heard. The second degrees I would kind of keep covered, especially if they're blistering. Uh -huh. If they're not blistering, it's just more swelling. You don't have to necessarily cover it. Uh -huh. But if you're going to have a ointment or cream on it, you want to cover it, are going to get it all over your jeans and your sure. clothes and all that things, so especially if at nighttime, if you wear it at nighttime, yeah. you're sleeping. Okay. And what about the third degree burns? So you obviously need to go to an emergency 100%, room. 100%. You yeah. go to an emergency room, third degree burn, or if you have a burn from um, different things, electrical burn or electrocution injury definitely needs to be looked at, uh, or a chemical type burn or, or an inhalation type burn. If mm. somebody's at a fire, if you inhale it in your lungs, you can have injury to the inside of the lungs and the body, so those definitely need to be evaluated. Or if a secondary burn is large, it's a large volume area, may need to be kind of debrided, but the third degrees have to be looked at because you have to, you have to take the dead tissue out to let the good tissue heal uh, or it can get prone for infection, et cetera. So. Great information. Be careful as you are outdoors this summer. Dr. Ballard doesn't want to see anybody in his office or in the doctor's uh, in the emergency room. We want everyone to stay safe. But if you do get one of those burns, you'll want to see your doctor if it's a serious one. If you have any questions, you can always call the Baptist Health Helpline at 1-888-BAPTIST.